Yep. Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithDudes.com. Um, for this video, we'll be showing you uh, Kill the Bad Guy, which is a PC puzzle game where you sort of have to create these scenarios where you kill the bad guy. You'll see. You'll see. There's over 60 levels. Um, I don't know, I'd say the, the initial levels start off pretty easy, but then some of the difficulty just seems kind of random, but maybe it's just, you know, some of the, some of the stuff could be offensive in it, some of the names they're using and references and stuff to, to some people, but just, just putting that out there. It's not the most uh, politically correct of games, as you are whomever. Uh, setting up these scenarios in which people you deem bad are dying. Watch me fail. Oh. See, he's taunting me now. Like, was he even moving that car revealed uh, the passport, that small black square. There's different objectives. Um, in the game, so the main one is to kill the bad guy, which is the, the name of the game. Yeah, that guy's dead now. But see, then again, I completed the level, but I didn't move the other car, so I didn't get. Oh, the tooth cropped out. Not from the other objectives is to catch the tooth. So when the tooth's in the air, you have to click on it. When it lands, ultimately, you can no longer claim it. Some of the deaths don't even really make any sense, but you know, put the nudie magazine down. He looks at it. Impaling time. So I don't want to show you all the levels because then you'll see all the solutions. But some of them kind of seem a little obtuse. They just don't like some of the ones involving gas canisters and matches. And you have to like have the person walk through like a mist of gasoline and it's some of them just seem a little obtuse but others are pretty straightforward overall it's a fairly entertaining game um and sensitive but you know it's, you know, it's whatever i don't know and then as you saw i said the word discretion so there are going to be times when you don't want to kill somebody let's say in front of a camera even though you completed the objective really didn't because you did it and we've seen you have to use discretion I just got lucky in that one and I missed the tooth though well, sometimes the passports can kind of be hidden within the buildings so you just have to kind of move around sometimes I felt it was really difficult to you know get the passport you know effectively eliminate the bad guy and catch the tooth it's just everything I, the sequencing wasn't always obvious to me but that's part of the challenge to figure out the best way to accomplish all those things yeah that guy's dead yeah. Oscar is no longer with us and there's there goes his tooth yeah, and this song is pretty much played uh, throughout so you, know, you see some of the names, Tong Po from Kickboxer, Vader, Voldemort, so. And sometimes it, the small triangles just mean you can take a, an item and place it in those specific places. This level I just could not figure out. I, for the life of me, some of them I just don't. Because on the left side there's a, the sewer grate moves and there's spikes in it. But I couldn't figure out how to get the bad guy over there just to make any sense. Yeah, there's a passport. So some of them I just had to give up on and keep moving because I, I just well if you give up I guess you can't really progress. But uh, some of them just seemed very obtuse. They just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me on how you would actually go about solving them. Because 
if you place items right in front of them, you scare them away and then you fail the mission anyway. So. Yeah, this is some weird solutions like flinging a piano with a tree. A grand piano at that. I caught the tooth though. That's good. I also moved the dead dog. Cause there's some items you can place in the the guy's path, which will uh, get their attention, make them stop, kind of redirect them, which is all, which is often what you have to do. Just do a bit of searching too, because you don't make all those cars blow up, and you don't know where the passports underneath that car in the middle. So you kind of have to move everything around to kind of see what your options are. Right over his head. So, Let's see if I fare better this time. Oh yeah! You can also click a button and see all the cones, the vision cones for all all the people, including the the guy moving. The game is interesting. Um, definitely provides a challenge into something a little different. But overall, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's for everyone, but because if you don't offend too easily, you can find it fun. Got another tooth. Didn't get a passport though. That's okay. So that's kill the bad guy.